Question 1. The primary purpose of the air brake system is to A. Cool the engine B. Provide power steering C. Stop the vehicle Answer C. Stop the vehicle The main function of the air brake system is to safely stop the vehicle. Question 2. The air compressor governor controls A. Brake pedal pressure B. The speed of the engine C. When the air compressor pumps air into the air storage tanks Answer C. When the air compressor pumps air into the air storage tanks, the governor maintains air pressure within a specific range in the system. Question 3. If the air brakes are not properly adjusted. A. The vehicle will stop faster. B. The stopping distance will increase. C. The air compressor will work less. Answer. B. The stopping distance will increase. Properly adjusted brakes are crucial for safe stopping distances. Question 4. The brake pedal in an air brake system controls the A. Air pressure delivered to the brakes. B. Amount of fluid in the brake lines. C. Speed of the air compressor. Answer. A. Air pressure delivered to the brakes. Pressing the brake pedal controls the amount of air sent to the brake chambers. Question 5. The safety valve is set to open at A. 150 psi B. 200 psi C. 100 psi Answer. A. 150 psi The safety valve releases air to prevent excessive pressure buildup. Question 6. The blank. Test can determine if the air brake system has a leak. A. Applied pressure B. Low pressure warning. C. Static pressure. Answer. C. Static pressure. The static pressure test checks for air leaks by noting pressure drops. Question 7. A modulating control valve is used in A. Spring brakes. B. Disc brakes. C. Wedge brakes. Answer. A. Spring brakes. The modulating control valve provides gradual air pressure to spring brakes. Question 8. The low air pressure warning must come on before air pressure drops below. A. 60 psi. B. 100 psi. C. 30 psi. Answer. A. 60 psi. It's a safety feature to alert the driver of low air pressure. Question 9. In an air brake system, the slack adjuster. A. Measures air pressure. B. Connects the brake chamber to the brake camshaft. C. Filters contaminants from the air. Answer. B. Connects the brake chamber to the brake camshaft. It converts air pressure into mechanical force. Question 10. The foundation brakes are used at each wheel. The three types of foundation brakes are A. Disc, drum, and wedge. B. S cam, disc, and piston. C. Drum, piston, and scam. Answer. A. Disc, drum, and wedge. These are the primary types of foundation brakes. Question 11. The supply pressure gauge shows. A. Brake application pressure. B. Pressure in the air tanks. C. Pressure in the brake chambers. Answer. B. Pressure in the air tanks. It indicates the amount of air available. Question 12. Excessive use of the service brakes results in A. Faster stopping. B. Brake fade or failure. C. Improved brake performance. Answer. B. Brake fade or failure. Over-reliance can overheat and reduce brake effectiveness. Question 13. The one-way check valve. A. Releases air from the tanks. B. Allows air to flow in one direction. C. Adjusts the slack in the brakes. Answer. B. Allows air to flow in one direction. It prevents loss of air if the compressor fails. Question 14. The air loss rate for a single vehicle, not a combination, with the engine off and the brakes applied should be no more than A. 2 psi in 1 minute. B. 
3 psi in 1 minute. C. 5 psi in 1 minute. Answer. B. 3 psi in 1 minute. This ensures the system is sufficiently airbagged. Question 15. The air loss rate for a combination vehicle with the engine off and the brakes applied should be no more than A. 4 psi in 1 minute B. 5 psi in 1 minute C. 3 psi in 1 minute Answer. A. 4 psi in 1 minute Combination vehicles have a slightly higher allowable air loss rate. Question 16. The air loss rate for a single vehicle, not a combination, with the engine off and the brakes not applied should be no more than a 2 psi in 2 minutes b 3 psi in 2 minutes c 1 psi in 1 minute answer a 2 psi in 2 minutes this ensures minimal leakage when brakes aren't applied question 17 the brake system should be inspected a once a month b every time before driving. C. Only when there's an issue. Answer. B. Every time before driving. Regular inspections ensure safety. Question 18. The air compressor should cut in at A. 100 psi B. 85 psi C. 125 psi Answer. B. 85 psi. This ensures the system maintains adequate air pressure. Question 19. The air compressor should cut out at A. 125 psi B. 100 psi C. 85 psi Answer. A. 125 psi. This prevents overpressurization of the system. Question 20. Brake lag distance at 55 miles per hour with air brakes is typically A. Under 10 feet B. 32 feet C. Over 50 feet Answer. B. 32 feet Brake lag is the distance traveled before the brakes start to take effect. Question 21. This cam forces the brake shoes apart to contact the knee. A brake drum, B, brake disc, C, brake pedal. Answer. A, brake drum. This cam mechanism pushes the brake shoes against the drum. Question 22. The air storage tanks are used to A, store air that controls the brake, B, store hydraulic fluid, C, store brake pads. Answer. A, store air that controls the brake. They hold compressed air for brake activation. Question 23. The parking brake should be tested. A. While the vehicle is in motion. B. While the vehicle is parked. C. Only during annual inspections. Answer. B. While the vehicle is parked. Testing while stationary ensures safety. Question 24. If the air pressure is too low in the tanks, the brakes will. A. Engage automatically. B. Release automatically. C. Not be affected. Answer. A. Engage automatically. This is a safety feature to prevent driving with inadequate brake pressure. Question 25. The brake pedal in air brake systems controls. A. The throttle. B. The air pressure applied to put on the brakes. C. The clutch. Answer. B. The air pressure applied to put on the brakes. It determines the force of the brake application. Question 26. The air pressure should build from 85 to 100 psi within. A. 45 seconds. B. 3 minutes. C. 1 minute. Answer. A. 45 seconds. This ensures the compressor is working efficiently. Question 27. The maximum leakage rate for a single vehicle with the engine off and brakes released is A. 2 psi in 1 minute B. 3 psi in 2 minutes C. 2 psi in 2 minutes Answer. C. 2 psi in 2 minutes. This ensures minimal leakage when brakes aren't applied. Question 28. 
the maximum leakage rate for a combination vehicle with the engine off and brakes released is a 3 psi in 1 minute, b 5 psi in 1 minute, c 4 psi in 2 minutes. Answer, c 4 psi in 2 minutes. Combination vehicles have a slightly higher allowable air loss rate. Question 29, the air dryer. A. Removes oil and contaminants from the air. B. Adds moisture to the air. C. Increases air pressure. Answer. A. Removes oil and contaminants from the air. It ensures clean air in the system. Question 30. The service brake system applies and releases the brakes while A. Parking or emergencies. B. Driving to slow or stop the vehicle. C. The vehicle is off. Answer. B. Driving to slow or stop the vehicle. It's the primary braking system. Question 31. The parking brake system. A. Is used during regular driving. B. Should be used whenever the vehicle is parked. C. Increases the vehicle's speed. Answer. B. Should be used whenever the vehicle is parked. It ensures the vehicle remains stationary. Question 32. The emergency brake system. A. Is used for regular stops. B. Operates when there's a failure in the service brake system. C. Is never used. Answer. B. Operates when there's a failure in the service brake system. It's a backup safety feature. Question 33. The supply pressure gauges tell you how much pressure. A. Is in the air tanks. B. You are applying to the brakes. C. Is in the brake chambers. Answer. A. Is in the air tanks. They indicate available air pressure. Question 34. The application pressure gauge shows how much air pressure. A. You are applying to the brakes. B. Is in the air tanks. C is in the brake chambers. Answer. A. You are applying to the brakes. It indicates the force of your brake application. Question 35. The brake pedal in air brake systems controls. A. The throttle. B. The air pressure applied to put on the brakes. C. The clutch. Answer. B. The air pressure applied to put on the brakes. It determines the force of the brake application. Question 36. The tractor protection valve. A. Protects the tractor air brake system. B. Increases air pressure. C. Releases air from the tanks. Answer. A. Protects the tractor air brake system. It prevents air loss if the trailer breaks away. Question 37. The safety relief valve. A. Increases air pressure. B. Releases air to prevent too much pressure. C. Adds moisture to the air. Answer. B. Releases air to prevent too much pressure. It ensures the system doesn't become overpressurized. Question 38. The brake shoes and drums should be checked. A. Once a year. B. Whenever air pressure drops below 60 psi. C. Every day before driving. Answer. C. Every day before driving. Regular checks ensure safety. Question 39. This cam. A. Increases air pressure. B. Turns the slack adjuster. C. Filters contaminants from the air. Answer. B. Turns the slack adjuster. It's part of the mechanism that applies the brakes. Question 40. The slack adjuster. A. Filters contaminants from the air. B. Increases air pressure. C. Adjusts the brakes. Answer. C. Adjusts the brakes. It ensures the brakes apply properly. Question 41. The air compressor. A. Filters contaminants from the air. B. Pumps air into the air storage tanks. C. Adjusts the brakes. Answer. B pumps air into the air storage tanks. It ensures the system has adequate air. Question 42. The air storage tanks. A. Adjust the brakes. B. 
Store air that controls the brake. C. Filter contaminants from the air. Answer. B. Store air that controls the brake, that hold compressed air for brake activation. Question 43. The alcohol evaporator. A. Increases air pressure. B. Adds alcohol to the air system. C. Filters contaminants from the air. Answer. B. Adds alcohol to the air system. It prevents ice from forming in cold weather. Question 44. The stoplight switch. A. Turns on the brake lights when you put on the air brakes. B. Filters contaminants from the air. C. Increases air pressure. Answer. A. Turns on the brake lights when you put on the air brakes. It alerts other drivers. Question 45. The front brake limiting valve. A. Increases air pressure. B. Filters contaminants from the air. C. Can reduce the air to the front brakes in slippery conditions. Answer. C. Can reduce the air to the front brakes in slippery conditions. It helps prevent skidding. Question 46. The brake drums. A. Increase air pressure. B. Store air that controls the brake. C. Should be checked for cracks. Answer. C. Should be checked for cracks. Damaged drums can affect braking. Question 47. The brake lining. A. Increases air pressure. B. Should be checked for oil, grease, or brake fluid. C. Adjusts the brakes. Answer. B. Should be checked for oil, grease, or brake fluid. Contaminated linings can reduce braking. Question 48. The air brake lag distance at 55 miles per hour is typically A. 10 feet. B. 32 feet. C. 50 feet. Answer. B. 32 feet. It's the distance before brakes engage after the pedal is pressed. Question 49. The total stopping distance for air brakes at 55 miles per hour under good conditions is A. 100 feet B. 216 feet C. 310 feet Answer. B. 216 feet. This includes perception, reaction, and braking distance. Question 50. The air brake reaction distance at 55 miles per hour is typically A. 10 feet B. 61 feet C. 100 feet Answer. B. 61 feet. It's the distance traveled while the driver reacts. 